Massive rains from powerful Hurricane Helene left people stranded, without shelter and awaiting rescue Saturday, as the cleanup began from a tempest that killed at least 52 people, caused widespread destruction across the U.S. southeast and left millions without power. I've never seen so many people homeless as what I have right now, said Janalia England, of Steinhatchee, Florida, a small river town along the state's rural Big Bend, as she turned her commercial fish market into a storm donation site for friends and neighbors, many of whom couldn't get insurance on their homes. Helene blew ashore in Florida's Big Bend region as a category for hurricane late Thursday with winds of 140 miles per hour. From there, it quickly moved through Georgia, where Brian Kemp said Saturday that it looks like a bomb went off after viewing splintered homes and debris-covered highways from the air. Weakened, Helene then soaked the Carolinas and Tennessee with torrential rains, sending creeks and rivers over their banks and straining dams. Western North Carolina was essentially cut off because of landslides and flooding that forced the closure of Interstate 40 and other roads. There have been hundreds of water rescues, none more dramatic than in rural Unicoi County in East Tennessee, where dozens of patients and staff were plucked by helicopter from a hospital rooftop Friday. And the rescues continued into the following day in Buncombe County, North Carolina, where part of Asheville was underwater. To say this caught us off guard would be an understatement, said Quinton Miller, the county sheriff. While there have been deaths in the county, Emergency Services Director Van Taylor Jones said he wasn't ready to report specifics, partially because down cell towers hindered efforts to contact next of kin. Among those waiting desperately for news was Francine Cavanaugh, whose sister told her she was going to check on guests at a vacation cabin as the storm began hitting Asheville. I've turned my retail seafood market into a donation center and we will take it all, whatever you got, whether it is generators or Pepsi Cola, a piece of wood or a bottle of water, you know what I mean? Like we're, we're here to take it all because uh, there's just, there's, I've never seen so many people homeless as what I have right now, not, not in my community. We can come together and we'll be back. This one's gonna take us a little longer, um, but we'll be back. I just don't know right now. I feel helpless, honestly. So I'm just doing what I can do. And um, it just means so much to me. I was born, raised here, you know, and I'm still here because I love these people. We are, we are a family here in this town. And I'm, I, I, I don't know, it, it hurts to see my, my people hurting. I know there's other people that really, they, they, they have nowhere to go. I've saw people across the street in the camper and stuff over there, just it's high and dry, just doing whatever they can. Others have talked about they've slept in their cars. Um, there are people's all over. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's, it's this is mind blowing. And we, and, and the other thing, this is the third storm in a year. Like, I don't know how much more we can take. And then they're telling us there's another one out there. At the end of the day, we live here, we know these storms come, and we always overcome them, the whole state, not just Steam Hatchie, the whole state. We know to how to handle, handle this. And yeah, we may panic and we may be scared, crying in tears, but we always bounce back. And that's all of us here, we're strong. And that's just it, I'm proud of my state.
I saw my, I mean, I saw them suffer. I saw the tears. I saw the panic. I saw the shaking as people that have lost their homes. Knowing now, after what we went through with, I, with Idalia, there were no, there was no help. That they're they're not hopeful. Why would you be hopeful? So we were all kind of talking about insurance, and people's like, "No, I yeah, I don't have insurance. Why? I dropped it. They wouldn't help me. I paid all that money." and they would not help me. Some people talking about they paid years and no help and they dropped it. So at the same time, what did they do? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We always will.